Hey, I'm Shawnee, and you're watching It's Style Theory. Today I'm talking about Pretty Little Liars, Season 4, Episode 21, She's Come Undone. I upload new PLL reviews to my channel every Thursday, so subscribe! As usual, I'm going to start with show recap, and then I'm going to talk about my theories and predictions. So let's start with Arya. This episode starts off with Arya, Spencer, Hannah, and Emily sitting in Arya's living room, and Arya tells them about the whole Ezra and his book situation that happened in the previous episode. Um, and I was really glad it started off that way because I was like, she better tell them everything, and she did. Not only did she tell them that he already knew who all of them were before um, he met Arya in the bar that day, she tells them that Ezra thinks that one of them is A. The girls ask Arya who he thinks is A, and Arya doesn't tell them. She says it's not important because we know it's not true. Arya decides to take the day off, but she goes to school um, to talk to Ezra, um, and he's not there. And so she goes to his apartment looking for him, and he's not there either. And she starts looking through his stuff, and she starts finding everything that he's been accumulating over the years for his research. Like, from his research on them, pictures of them, notes about them, and she finds this journal that he's been writing. Notes about Arya, like all of the girls, just everything. And she starts reading, and she starts crying, and she starts getting really mad, and she destroys his apartment. She really destroys his apartment. She does not just... She doesn't just destroy it, she destroys it. Like, she throws down his, uh, his high-definition TV. And she didn't stop there. She destroyed everything. I'm pretty sure you saw it yourself. Well, uh, Hannah, Emily, and Spencer, when they learn that she's not at home, they assume that she's there, and they go and they find her, and they see the destroyed apartment, and blah, 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 and they're like, we gotta get you out of here. And Spencer, um, stays a few moments longer to gather some stuff, which was very smart. Seriously, all that evidence lying around, they should have all been gathering stuff, but good for Spencer, she grabs stuff. Arya is pretty much in tears the whole episode, and it's really sad. She goes to the principal's house, saying that she's gonna tell the principal about Ezra and everything that happened, but Hannah stops her. And I really wanted her to tell the principal. And in the end of the episode, Arya tells Hannah, or Emily, that she's leaving. And we don't know where, she says she just plans on getting in her car and driving. Spencer! In this episode, Spencer's parents give her one last chance to stop taking the pills and all of that stuff, or they're sending her to rehab. And she says, okay, please. She says, you can trust me this time. But A leaves pills in her locker, and later on when she gets desperate, she takes some. And uh, the stuff that she found in Ezra's apartment was stuff that they didn't actually know about. What Spencer finds in Ezra's apartment is a card um, with the name of a private detective on it that Ezra thought could have been following Spencer. Which, we thought there was a private detective following Melissa before. This kind of changes that game. She sees notes of an argument that happened between her and Allison the night Allison went missing, um, which she doesn't even remember having. Apparently she picked up a shovel and everything and almost hit Allison, and Mrs. De Laurentiis witnessed that happening. And so later on, Spencer goes to Mrs. De Laurentiis' house and confronts her. And when she gets home, Toby and her parents are waiting for her, and Toby's like, Spencer, you need help. Emily. Shauna calls Emily, and we find out that Shauna's back in Georgia. She asks Emily to put the money in a P.O. box for Allison, and Paige follows her there. And Paige, like, snatches the money from her hands and says either she won't give her the money back, she's taking it to the police, or Emily can tell her the truth. And Emily tells her that Allison is alive. In a world where I don't suspect that Paige is a suspect in any of this, I would be happy that she told Paige, like really happy, like finally you were honest with her. But I do suspect Paige, and so I wasn't happy about that. Hannah. In this episode, Hannah goes to court to support her friend, the boy. That boy, whose name is not coming to me right now, um, I could google it, but we all know who I'm talking about. And anyway, she goes to court, and his case is successful. And yeah, uh, later on she runs into the detective, Detective Holbrook, and she's like, I heard the case went well. And then they kind of have a moment and he, she hugs him. That's never happened before. And then she kisses him. And I was like, whoa, wow. And so was he. And she was like, I'm sorry, I don't know why I did that. Isn't that just a common Hannah thing? Hannah is the only one that gets herself in these kind of situations. So I wonder where that storyline's gonna go. 
I've been wondering what, why he all of a sudden became a more major character lately in the first place. A few other things about this episode. We did not see Mike or Mona. Uh, we now know that Shauna is in Georgia, like I said. It seems almost like the writers are trying to show us that Hannah and Emily are like the normal ones of the group. Or like the more sane ones. I don't really know how to say that. But like the, lately they've been the ones that have just been like level-headed and like the support ones. We didn't see Ezra and we now know that he's not A and probably not working on the A team. So let's talk about this. I'm gonna start with Ezra not being A. Remember a while ago when Marlene King confirmed that she wasn't gonna pull a Toby with Ezra and that he was A definitely when none of us could believe it and, and everyone was like this can't be true. Marlene King was like, no, guys, he's A. I'm sorry, Ezra is A. Uh, apparently she was lying or she changed her mind because a few days ago she confirmed that Ezra is not A. It's frustrating. It's annoying. And at this point, all I have to say is, Marlene King, please stop confirming things because... A, you'll probably end up changing your mind, and B, some of us want to get the chance to figure things out for ourselves. Maybe some of us thought he was A. Let us think that. Let us figure it out ourselves. Don't just confirm it. God, it's part of the mystery of the show. So he's not A, and no matter how frustrated I am with the whole Marlene King changing her mind about this and that thing, there's nothing I can do about it, I guess Ezra isn't A. You know what, though? He could be A again tomorrow because she could change her mind again. So how about we all just stop going? I, I'm going to try to stop going off of what she says. And I know a few other people who are doing that, too. Apparently, Ezra is about to get his book published. A few questions I have about that is, is he going to use real names in the book? Is it fiction or nonfiction? I think it's nonfiction. So that should be interesting. Hopefully, Arya does something to stop that from happening because... I really don't want that to happen. Also, I am really curious to see what happens um, when Ezra sees his apartment. Is he going to call the police? Is he not because of all of that like evidence lying around about how he's basically like a professional stalker? Is he? What's he gonna do? I don't know. Do you believe Shauna's really in Georgia? Part of me doesn't. Why didn't Arya want to say? who um, Ezra thought was A out of the four of them. I'm starting to think that, like, we keep asking these questions. I think maybe, like, the answer is right in front of us. She didn't want to tell them who he thought was A because maybe he thought she was A. She is the one that he dated. She's the one he found at the bar. I don't know. He did do a lot of looking into Arya. I don't know. Maybe it's her. And honestly, I don't think it's Spencer because I think that... Um, that would be too obvious based on what's been happening in the last few episodes. My theories and predictions. I do think Spencer heard Allison. And like, that was a huge clue that happened in the pilot episode. When I saw that episode, I was like, it's so obvious. Obviously, Spencer did something to Allison. Why was she out in the forest and why does she not even remember what happened? But like, I just brushed it off like, oh, it's too obvious. It wasn't Spencer, but I think it was Spencer now. You probably think it was Spencer too. And yeah, obviously your parents know a lot, but they're not telling her because if they, if they hired a private detective to follow her. Yeah, we have to wonder what Melissa has to do with all of this and what she knows as well. I think Spencer is going to go to rehab. Um, I did watch the promo for the next episode and I also looked at the promo photos and we see Spencer running around uh, jogging with someone who we don't recognize, at least I don't recognize, he may be like from season one or something. But my guess is that she's in rehab. And we see Arya with this guy who we've definitely never seen before. Who is an actor from Jane by Design, by the way. I love that guy. Well, I watched a sneak peek and apparently she's on like a school trip or something. I think her dad might be there. But then in the promo, she's like with the girls again, so I guess she comes back. And yeah, things are just getting really intense. I saw Ezra in the promo. So I wonder what's gonna happen with that. And then, yeah, the promo just looked really intense. <laughs> and yeah, only two or three episodes left of the season. Wow. 
I would be more worried about it ending, but tomorrow, Scandal and Grey's Anatomy come back. Like my two other favorite, two of my other favorite shows, so I'm not that worried about uh, missing PLL. But I'm still gonna miss it a lot. I will be doing Scandal reviews every Saturday, by the way, when it returns, which means this Saturday. So look for that if you watch Scandal. So anyway, I'm excited for the next episode. I liked this episode. I feel like it was kind of like not really like other episodes we've seen. I don't know something about it. Comment below. Tell me what your theories and predictions are for the show. And what you thought of this episode. And that's all for this review. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And I will see you next time. Until then, can you keep a secret? <laughs>